Gamro is a Swedish multinational medical technology company that really specializes its know-how and its products and services for patients that are suffering from organ dysfunction and that we try to treat through extracorporeal blood purification. From its origin, Gambro has been specialized in treating patients that are suffering from end-stage renal disease and providing dialysis therapies. Transplantation is basically the only alternative that exists for patients that are suffering from end-stage renal disease. In the acute setting, Gambro is a market leader in providing therapies for the same type of patients who are suffering organ dysfunction and primarily the areas that we focus on today are patients who are suffering from acute kidney injury, liver failure, and also fluid overload as a result of congestive heart failure. When it comes to the disease states that Gabro wants to focus on, we can basically distinguish these three areas, kidney injury, liver disease, and heart failure. When we think about acute kidney injury, acute kidney injury is a rapid loss of kidney function, and that will generate a lot of complications for the patients like metabolic disorders, high level of potassium, but also fluid overload by the fact that the patient can't de-erase anymore. Therefore, it's needed that urgently uh, a therapy is installed and prescribed. And continuous renal replacement therapies is the therapy of uh, choice for Gambro and the medical community. With that therapy, we try to do it gently and smoothly so that the kidney has the highest possibility and probability that it can recover its renal function. Liver dialysis is similar to kidney dialysis because we also want to remove toxins that are generated by the failing organ. However, the way that you need to remove the toxins are significantly different and therefore you need different technology, where in kidney uh, disease, you need to mainly remove water-soluble toxins. In liver dialysis, you really need to remove protein-bound uh, toxins and mainly albumin-bound toxins from the bloodstream. So that's why the technology is slightly different, but the principle is the same. For heart failure, most of those patients are suffering from fluid overload. And when a patient suffers fluid overload, there is accumulation of fluid in the body. The next thing is there are symptoms that emerge when patients are suffering from that. As an example, when the lungs get full of water, the patient gets breathing problems. Therefore, it's important that you have a system that effectively and efficiently can remove the fluid overload from the patient by having a system that taps off that water. For Gambro, it's very important in this intensive care setting when patients that need to be treated that are critically ill that not only the products, of course, provide the necessary quality, but also safety, but the ease of use is very important. And therefore, we have been designing products that really enables ICU staff, nurses and consultants, to feel comfortable providing uh, the therapies that we propose. For instance, we have designed the PrismaFlex, which is the, the system that supports patients with acute kidney injury. We have designed the machine in such a fashion that it's really easy to use with the necessary software features that enables safety, quality, and comfort in order to treat those patients. PrismaFlex is designed to perform continuous renal replacement therapies. When it comes to the liver piece, uh, we have designed the machine due to the fact that we have to approach it in a different fashion to remove uh, different uh, toxins. Uh, that device is called the MARS and that is um, an abbreviation of Molecular Adsorbent Recirculation System. And that basically it's an ongoing albumin dialysis in order to remove the albumin-bound toxins to get them across the membrane and to remove them from the bloodstream. When it comes to the heart failure patients, we have designed the Aquadex system. And the Aquadex system is a very small portable device that can be copied can be connected to a patient through peripheral access, which makes the invasive part of the therapy less. And it will, in a very small extracorporeal circuit, as well as with a very small filter, very gently remove the amount of fluid that the consultants have prescribed to be removed from the patient body. When it comes to uh, training, training is very important, and therefore we have established also systems and platforms. On the one side, it's very important to have a good feel what's going on in the medical community. And we have created what we call the Gambros 
uh, European Expert Forum. And that's a group of physicians that we bring together. And there is an exchange of experience as well as protocols that are emerging from the medical evidence. On the other side, we have our uh, training courses that are aiming at improving running therapies for users. Complemented with all this is a 24 by 7 helpline that we have, and uh, that's specifically in the UK, where our territory managers and therapy specialists on a daily basis, 24 by 7, provide service and information uh, to questions that arise from the medical community. And that is extremely important because that increases the confidence of the users providing the therapies and must result in better patient outcomes. So these are crucial aspects that we are constantly working on to make sure that it is provided to the, to the NHS. Gamera Acute Business Unit is really committed to continue to improve quality of care and the services that we provide. We believe that partnership is the key of success. The partnership will really work on the one side to listen to key opinion leaders and to understand how the medical evidence evolves over time so that we at all time can provide the necessary technology and improvements in our portfolio. It's very important that our teams keep very close contact with the users to understand also how we need to improve their environment and how we can improve quality from their perspective. Because we believe, for instance, with the helpline that we have, that we really make the difference on a daily basis in saving lives.